In this video, we want to describe the operation of the Energy Saver system with the Eaton UPS. We'll be using oscilloscopes, kilowatt meters, and waveform capture to accurately show the operation of the Energy Saver system. The UPS system we'll be using for this demonstration is a 9395 series with two 275 kVA modules for a total capacity of 550 kVA. The first thing we'll demonstrate is the UPS operating in normal mode. The UPS is online. The rectifier is converting AC to DC and the inverter is online converting DC to AC. The input kilowatt draw is 110.5. The output kilowatts is 100.7. This UPS is now approximately 20% loaded for a system efficiency of 91%. Now we show the input on the left, output voltage and current on the right. We will reduce the input voltage by 50% for 10 cycles. And you can see the output voltage and current remain undisturbed as the UPS operates on battery briefly and then goes back online. Here we see the 10 cycle 50% sag and the output of the UPS undisturbed during the sag event. Here we'll do the same thing, but performing a 100% loss of utility power for 10 cycles. You hear the alarms as the UPS goes to battery operation, but no change to the output voltage or current. Here we see the input voltage is dropped to zero for 10 cycles and then returned. We see undisturbed output of the UPS. Now in this section, we're gonna manually place the UPS in energy saver system. You hear the fan noise decrease as the UPS rectifier and inverter shut down. In ESS mode, the input KW is 101. The output kilowatts is 100 for a system efficiency of 99%, again, at 20% load. Now we'll perform exactly the same test that we did before in double conversion mode. Here, the first test will be a 50% sag of the input power to the UPS. What you will hear is immediately the high-pitched pulse width modulation frequency of the UPS inverter starts instantaneously, and then after a few seconds, you hear the fans begin to spin up. Now you see the waveform showing the 10 cycle 50% sag, and the output is undisturbed where the sag occurred. So the UPS comes online as a result of the sag that we just saw. It will remain online for a short period of time, and if no other disturbances are detected, after a moment, it will go back to ESS mode automatically. And now we'll do a 100% sag of the utility power, go from 100% to 0% for 10 cycles. Immediately you hear the pulse width modulation from the UPS and the fan spin up. UPS begins to draw input current, as you can see from the waveform on the left. Here's the input sag waveform capture. And the output, the disturbance on the output is less than 2 milliseconds. Here we have the KeyTac surge generator machine that we're going to use to test our 1100 kVA 9395 UPS for input surges. Underneath the KeyTac machine, we see the coupling network. This network physically couples the surge onto the input voltage bus bars of the UPS. In the right-hand half of the screen here, we can actually see the 1100 kVA UPS we're using for the test. It is running and operating at 100% load. We've placed an oscilloscope on top of the KeyTac machine so we can see the surge and the resultant output in real time. Now we begin the test by pressing the reset button and press run. The test begins. Each time the red LED lights, a surge is being applied to the input of the UPS. So we are seeing multiple repeated surges during the course of this test. Now we end the test.
Here we want to describe a feature we call high alert mode. In the event of an approaching storm or weather disturbance, nearby construction or in-building maintenance that may affect power quality on site, we want to place the UPS in double conversion mode until the chance of power disturbances have been eliminated. First step is to press the control button, select UPS, and select start high alert. The UPS is currently in ESS mode and you hear the inverter and rectifier start and the fan spin up. The UPS will remain in this mode for one hour as a default. You may select a longer time for high alert mode if desired. So the purpose of high alert mode is to transition the UPS to regular double conversion operation if there's a high likelihood of power disturbances. The parameters of high alert mode are adjustable by the user. Simply select energy saver mode setup. Then we have a storm detection counter. This counts the number of power anomalies within a given time before a transition to double conversion mode is triggered. The storm detection timer counts the given number of anomalies within a given period of time. That amount of time is adjustable up to eight hours. The high alert timer basically starts after the last sensed disturbance and determines how long before the UPS returns to ESS protected mode. When the UPS is in high alert mode, the user has the option to manually return it to energy saver system mode via the controls on the front panel. Simply press go online. If you'd like to learn more about the Energy Saver System from Eaton, please visit our website at www.eaton.com ESS. There you'll find a technology brief and an efficiency comparison calculator.